Welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes video, and this one we're going to go ahead and do some gameplay in the Tempest Trials with Love Abound Roy. Hope you guys enjoy this. Subscribe if you're new for more content. And this is the build that I went with for him. He's actually a really, really solid, despite the really, really pitiful and low speed stat. Actually, a very, very solid cavalry unit uh because of the fact that he can rock something like a brave bow and kind of eat up its speed penalty and not really care about it. he's gonna get doubled by everything but you know since his speed was so naturally low it doesn't really matter right so i can't i don't recall which exact ivs this one has unfortunately but i think i'm gonna try to pull a little bit more to get a better set i do know he's plus attack i believe he's minus defense though so you guys can like double check that but yeah this is what we have right now. I need to give him QR3. I actually need to finish leveling up Subaki for that. So I'm just kind of waiting on that. So just don't pay any attention to that. As well, I'm going to also swap off reciprocal aid for a repo whenever I get around to it. But I can still kind of show him for what he's used for. Aside from that, we do have Sigurd. And then we have Lin on the team, which Lin is just rocking this build. Because this is a trolley build. Uh, typically give her a poison strike and then... The equivalent seal as well and then reinhardt we're just going full cavalry i also need to make some changes and alterations to like some of the skills that they're equipped right now because that's not my natural lin build for example i typically give her uh either a fire sweep you know she's really good with that to be honest because she gets free hits with no penalty pretty much with fire sweep bow uh or i give her the brave bow set mule gear is actually really good as well it just kind of you know comes and goes but aside from that another thing that i do wind up doing I uh, should have done this the other way around. Crap. Got too busy talking. I didn't do it the right way. No, Daddy, please. <laughs> Elliewood, why? No. And Roy can't hit back. All right, that's fine. Anyways, I was going to say, um, as far as, like, the team goes, I need to change up, like, the hones and fortifies. I really like Roy's damage dart, by the way. It looks pretty cool. But, yeah, that's one of the things I do need to change. Uh, but with this set overall, he's actually really, really good on initiation. Not so great enemy phase, though. But you can make him a very, very good enemy phase unit with giving him the guard bow alongside a counter seal. Or excuse me, like a, a close counter or a distant defense in the A slot. You can give him stuff like that and make him very, very good enemy phase. Uh, or you can go triple distant defense with guard bow, distant defense, A slot, and then the seal as well. <laughs> you can make Roy really really good defensively and he'll be awesome uh against ranged opponents but let's see if i can protect him for the duration of this because i allowed for ellie wood to get him because i meant to actually send reinhardt in there to draw him back but i totally messed that up one of the things i got to get better at when it comes to like my commentary and stuff and being able to play without mistakes you know playing mistake free uh so we're gonna go over there and that's it we're just gonna end our turn from here i don't really care uh, for example, like I said, I do need to make some changes because I know for a fact that, like, it's not a bad thing, for example, but Sigurd has Goat on him, which, again, not a bad skill, but definitely would prefer the Hone for the Cavalry units. Gonna take out Leo. I actually have Leo. I wish that he was better, though, to be honest. Leo's not so good anymore, but he's nice. Uh, fodder if you need, like, QR desperately, I guess. <laughs> Can Roy ta uh, take out Zelgius? He has no weapon. <laughs> There's the glitch. That's the first time I've seen it, too. The no weapon Zelgius glitch. I have literally nothing to fear. I can just set up on him. That's awesome. I'm just going to set up on him, then, because he can't do anything. All right. Look at Roy's stats. <laughs> of course, since this is Tempest Trial, though, uh, he is getting a statistical boost because he is one of the bonus units but Roy can't actually take him out on initiation goat is kicking in as well uh, from Sigurd so he can definitely take out Zelgius on initiation with the brave bow set without even proccing moonbow so that's pretty cool I was considering giving him QR or not QR excuse me but uh quick impulse as well uh, I don't know I don't know what I'm done I'm gonna do yet because honestly I wanted to show him off before like you know too much time had passed but Really, I'm going to probably wind up changing my Roy build or changing my base Roy and building them up again uh, when I get some more merges potentially. But I do know that they have that like evil heroes banner coming out because and that Robin looks so nice. So I don't know how, how much more whaling I can actually do for Roy at this point. But I love Roy. Uh, but with Lin, of course, I really don't need like a plus 10 Roy, for example. It's just not a necessity. You don't need a plus 10 one at all anyway. But, you know. <laughs> all right. Um... Let's see if Ryan can do anything, because he hasn't done anything, really. Die of Thunder! I'm skipping some stuff, I know. I'm just really bad at waiting. 
All right, there we go. But like I said, I really do like Roy's uh, damage dart. And he also hit Hinoka for 61 with one of just one hit, you know? Without having to proc the second hit from his weapon. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, he can't actually beat on initiation there. I wonder if he can now. Nope. Lucas is really good, apparently. Huh. Let me send Sigurd over there. Let me do that. Perfect. That's perfect. We're going to end the turn. Merrick is going to come down. That's fine. He's not going to do anything. <laughs> My boy here doesn't care. I actually have been debating giving him a distant counter, to be honest. He just also doesn't hit very hard either. But he's not really benefiting too much because he's not getting any boosts, really. That stupid Lucas is actually kind of annoying, isn't he? Let me take out the Lucas, because he's just chilling there, and it's kind of getting annoying, to be honest. So we're going to attack there as well. Camilla, what's up? Uh, Bartray, huh? But uh, we'll hide Lynn right there until Bartray comes over, and then she can attack for free either way anyway. But he can't even attack her if she just attacks from here. She gets basically kill him before he can even reach her. Uh, but we're not going to deal with that. We're going to actually try to position Roy... Really? Seriously? One short? With the goat and everything, huh, Roy? One short on this god Bartray. <laughs> With the fury. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fury literally saved him. All right, well, we're going to take him out this time for sure. I'll let uh, Sigurd get the kill because that's fine. He hasn't done a whole lot. But, yeah, freaking godly Bartray. <laughs> All right, stage five. Uh, we're going to take out the Cecilia. Okay, Moonbow Prox. He says, I have a present. It's this arrow straight to your face. Uh, we're going to put Lin up there. We'll do that, and we'll do that. We're perfect. Come on down here, Robin. Take this. Or not. How about that? There we go. Roy doesn't play. Everybody else plays. Roy doesn't play. Oh, hey, Seth. Is that Riss? Is that Riss over there? What's up, my man? I trust you. The boy Riss. He's going to come over here and try to hit Roy, but Roy doesn't care. <laughs> it took zero damage. And he popped him back. <laughs> I don't want to waste the moon bow, so I'm not going to. All right, Lynn. Freaking Brave Lynn is so good. Brave Lynn is so good. All right, there we go. And stage number six. And we have Julia, Ephraim, Longku, and Elise. Let's give it to him. Um, Understood. Stay close. Very well. I'm going to do that. Actually, Sigurd is a really, really good mage baiter. Really good mage bait. Now, what am I going to do? Can Roy, he can. I'll let Roy take out Ephraim. My friend is really upset about that. He's a big Ephraim fan. <laughs> and I'm going to move you out. The freaking Julia is not in range, unfortunately, but that's fine. I'm going to put Lynn in there just to get my Roy protection. Lynn's actually going to go down here. But she was the most expendable one because we have another, another, another one, another um, <laughs> cavalry unit that can, uh, you know, dish out some damage. But she didn't have to go. I, I totally put her in a position where she didn't have to be in. That's my fault. Reinhardt says goodbye. Yeah, nice try, Julia. I saved that for you. <laughs> All right, Longku's going to come. This is why he has close defense. He's taking zero times two. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Glimmer. He triggered Glimmer. He does have close defense, right? Yeah, I was going to say, like, I'm pretty sure he has close defense on him. How about we let the boy Roy finish him off? Our boy Roy getting the critical. <laughs> okay. Um, well, it's very possible that I kind of die here, to be honest. This isn't a super good setup for me. Crap, I didn't even consider the Lalina coming down. I didn't even consider that. <clears throat> Ryan did not have to go down. 
Talk about a misplay. I didn't even consider it. No, what is this violence? Roy, I'm sorry I made you have to do this. <laughs> he had to go after his sweetheart. I'm so sorry, man. I didn't mean to. Screw off, freaking red mage Lilina. Nobody cares about you, okay? You can't get revenge for your green self. She's already gone. Goodbye, Est. Okay. Goodbye, Lilina. Don't come back. That stupid Oscar's gonna come down here. Aw, oh, crap. Takumi doubles Roy. Son of a... Well, there goes the Roy Showcase, guys. Like I said, Roy was probably gonna die. But it's fine, because Sigurd's gonna bring us home with type disadvantage, right? Or not? Because <laughs> he can't even counterattack because of stupid fire sweep. Oh, Roderick. I say Oscar earlier. No! No! Don't do it! <laughs> No, I lost at the end. It's all because I gave up on Lin. I didn't even have to do that. I gave up on Lin. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to move up. And we're going to do that. And we're good. We're good. So, yeah, I'm going to see if Ira can do it. Yes, she can. She's going to pop a regnal astro straight in his face. And then I'm going to be called a whale in the comments. Like, that's a, you know, people say a whale. I don't give a fuck, bro. I spend my money on what I want, man. It's my game, you know? My account, my money. I don't give a damn. I just like playing and I support what I like. So, yeah. There goes my plus 10 units. Just be happy that Roy wasn't plus 10 right there. Uh, because I play, I want to. I really, really want to, but I don't want to go too deep because, you know, they do have that other banner coming up. So, we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Subscribe if you're new for more Fire Emblem Heroes content and all that other good stuff. Have an awesome day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.